everybody! Hi! We have a special guest with us today, Mr. Gary, Gary Clavins. Hi everybody, how you doing? And we brought him along because we noticed that there are guys that also get on the red carpet and we would want a guy's opinion on what the style is like for men yes. on the carpet. Exactly. We've had a lot of people actually email us and contact us and say, you know, yeah. we are we think it's great that you guys are doing red carpet fashionistas for women, but I'm a guy. What do I wear? How do I act? So let me ask you this, Gary. Um, do you have a red carpet style? Is there something that you normally always bring to the carpet? Is there an energy? Like, tell us a little bit about your red carpet style. Well, you know, um, my red carpet style, I like to do one of two things when I'm on the red carpet. It's uh, I like to look sharp, um, whether it's going to be suit and tie or if it's going to be um, ultra trendy and kind of casual. But uh, I like to bring a little bit of uh, a flippance to it, uh, a little bit of charm and a little bit of uh, silliness. I think that, uh, I mean, sure, you can go on the red carpet and you can just be serious and you can be like, look at me, look at me, look at me. But I think it's a lot more interesting when you're there and it's like, yeah. You know, right in front of the like red carpet. Like flair, exactly. right in front of the camera. And you get noticed that way because mm -hmm. everybody else is so busy being serious mm -hmm. that when you do that flair, it's like, oh, we got a cool one. Let's start mm -hmm. flashing some more, you know? That's true. If you, you make yourself known, then the camera will know you're there. The other thing, too, is uh, it's personality. you got to bring personality to the red carpet. That's what people want to see. Uh, they want to see uh, the fun side of you. If you're a dramatic, serious actor and you can come across with a joke, they're going to say, well, he's a really well-rounded really well guy who can't say R's and W's together. <laughs> but uh, th they're going to have fun with you. And if they have fun with you and you're having fun with them, then it's just going to carry over. So, Gary, out of all the red carpets that you've done, which one, if you can remember off the top of your head, was your favorite? My favorite red carpet, I'd have to say, I'd, I'd want to say Hawaii because it was in Hawaii, but that's not really true because that was a really small, not very well publicized. I love the Beverly Hills Film Festival red carpet. That was a lot of fun. Um, the Streamies, that was it. Oh, that was a fun one. I think that was my I, I favorite was, I was red at carpet. That with you. you were there, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, there was a lot of personality there. There was a lot of different uh, films there. Was so. that the one you were wearing, the fedora hat? Yes. I was in character for the Streamies. Um, one of the reasons why I was wearing the fedora. I have um, a character that I did, Mick Diamond, it's from a film noir piece, uh, Diamond Confidential. And particularly for that red carpet event, I was asked to come dressed as that character. That fedora is more of the um, bogey 40 style. It's a bigger rim as opposed to uh, what people are wearing today, which is a smaller rim fedora. Mm -hmm. I have one of those as well. But I like to wear that because it's the kind of the Frank Sinatra look. Mm -hmm. And I do notice that a lot of your style on the red carpet is very like Mr. Cool, like, hey, what's up? Because, you know, I mean, let's be honest. I've seen red carpets where guys are wearing like crappy jeans, terrible looking shirts. I mean, they look slaggy, whatever. But you make it a point to like be fabulous. Well, thank you. Um, I, I want to say, we actually think about that. I, I have a, a writing partner and business partner, and um, most of the red carpet events will usually be both of us. And we do kind of decide what kind of look we want, whether it's going to be casual or whether it's going to be dressed up. But we do know one thing, is that we always do want to look good. We want people to look at us and think, well, these guys have some kind of style. They have some kind of flair to them. So, yes, I want to present myself, of course, in the best light possible casual or to the max. Gary, you are a writer and an actor, correct? Mm -hmm. If you were just a writer or just an actor, do you think you would present yourself differently on the red carpet or do you think that the generic rules kind of apply to everybody? No, absolutely. If I was just showing up to the red carpet as a writer, there's a certain persona that I would probably put on, which is closer to what I'm looking like now. I'd probably be a little scruffy. I'd have this little soul patch growing. Um, I'd be a little bit more on the casual, um, ultra trendy, tragically hip, or darker <laughs> side of, of things. Uh, the more introspective, um, I've got my eye on what's going on in the world and careful what you say I'm going to put on the page. As an actor, of course, I want to present myself out there a little bit because um, I want to be noticed more. So, yeah, I think the styles would totally be different if I was just there as an actor. See, and that's, just there as a that's very interesting because I never thought of it that way. I always thought that when you're on a red carpet, it doesn't matter if you are a writer or actor or director or producer. You have to just become well-groomed and yourself. And so, in my mind, being the woman, because it's different maybe for men and women, um, I always feel like I have to, if I'm going to a nice carpet event, I always have to wear the gown. Mm -hmm. You know, even if I was a writer, 
you know, I'd be wearing a gown, you know? So it's, it's really funny how sometimes people are on a different idea of what to wear yeah. on a carpet. It, it could also be the actor in me that says that. I mean, the minute I think, well, if I'm showing up only as a writer, I'm going to put on a writer character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish we had a stylist at every single red carpet <laughs> event because we wouldn't have to deal with this. They would deal with it. <laughs> I do know some um, PR people though. They're like, they will tell you what to wear um, as long as you ask them up to 24 hours prior to the red carpet event. Then they won't take your phone call. Hmm. But I do know one in particular. She said, if I'm handling you, I will tell you what to wear, what colors to wear, and everything else. As far as the red carpet is concerned, honestly, I do firmly believe that um, when you're on the red carpet, a lot of it has to do with who you're with hmm. as far as what's going on. I mean, because if you don't have a... Um, a chemistry with the person that you're standing next to or with, it shows up. The camera doesn't lie. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter if it's a still camera or a video camera. When they're interviewing you and you're with somebody else, if there's no chemistry with you, it's going to bring a little bit of that moment down. When they're taking still pictures and it's a whole group of people, which happens mm -hmm. a lot, yeah. and there's no chemistry, that that's also going to bring things down. Now, I've been on the red carpet actually with both of these women in the past. And Imagine that. <laughs> what are the odds? We met him on a red carpet. What would be your tip of the day? Stay in school and don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Our tip of the day is... If you have two red carpet events to go to in the same day, do not wear the same outfit. Bring another one in the car. I would actually disagree. Why? I, I would say if you, if you do have two and you can get away with it, wear the same thing but change up your shoes and your accessories and your makeup and your hair. Except if you're a guy. See, now, guy, what... Okay, now, as a guy, what, though, as a guy, this is probably... Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it, during is this the true daytime, or not? No. Well, you know what? Um, I actually agree with both of them. Okay. You don't want to look the same at two different red carpets. So here's what you do, okay? If you're a guy and you've got two different red carpets in the same day, bring a change of shirt, bring a tie, bring a jacket. Okay, so you can you can wear the same pants, obviously black pants. If you can't change your shirt, you just put on a tie and a jacket. Boom, it's a whole different outfit. Mm -hmm. But usually, if the red carpet is in the afternoon, it's going to be a little bit more casual. Red carpet in the evening, it's going to be a little bit more stylish. So you want to be able to bring yourself up. So always, if you've got two events, or three <laughs> events, all in the same day, make sure you can at least look different for each one of those events. So I guess you'll have two choices then. You can either wear a totally different outfit or you can wear the same outfit but just change the purse, the shoes, the earrings, and everything else exactly. except for the dress. Cool. So it depends on your personality. Here's a word I learned from them. Accessorize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you again next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. See you later. See you on the red carpet. <laughs>